Hello and welcome to the Global Fashion Workshop channel. I remind you that we release a new video three times a week, and today we have a very important video dedicated to Natasha's dress. Today we have a wonderful model. The dress that you've drafted and cut with Natasha, and finally the dress is on the model. I'd like for you to look at it very closely, because the dress turned out to be very elegant. A cocktail dress. It fits Natasha incredibly, because she's very beautiful in this dress. Don't blush, Natasha. She's shy. Natasha doesn't have a microphone on her, so she's silent, but she'll tell us when we look at the dress on the table. Let's look closely what this dress is made of. The dress consists of crepe and net. Here we see top-stitched velvet stripes, which cover the seams of cutting and darts. You remember how you cut it. Those who didn't watch the video with the drafting, make sure you go back and watch it because the drafting is also very interesting. Pay attention to the shape. I like it a lot. I like this dress very much. Look at the shape. A bit of a tight fit here. Here is some looseness. It gives a very good shape, accentuates the figure. Thanks to such an interesting sleeve, we see that the volume here and the hand become so small, so neat. I just want you to enjoy it. I see that Natasha is very comfortable in this dress. We'll look at the dress from the inside on the table, but it's nice to see what's going on on the outside. I just want you to enjoy it. It's very pretty. Natasha, please turn around. The top of the dress is partially see-through. There's no crepe base here. There is a nude crepe base there. The same is with the back. Here we see that the top part has no crepe base. It's only on the bottom part, so it creates a very light, romantic look. Pay attention at how elegantly you can pick accessories to this dress. Natasha got very interesting earrings here. They are original, one of a kind. They're from an exhibition. We also value the handmade work of other people. That's why we appreciate it so much. Now, I just want to get out of this shot so that you can look at Natasha. Everybody wanted Natasha to have a new dress many new dresses. That's why one of the dresses is finished already. If you enjoyed it, then we can move on to looking at it on the table. We're going to look at the dress on the table now. Natasha is here and she has her microphone on so she can say hello to you. I wanted to discuss this dress in the format because nobody knows better than Natasha how it's made. So let's see how it's made from the outside and we'll later look at it from the inside. Yes, and we had videos on drafting and cutting this dress. We didn't do the fitting. No, we didn't. We didn't explain any knots. There were many questions on the finishing of the dress, and now we'll try to tell you on a finished dress how it all worked out. Natasha, where did you get the idea of creating such a dress? Well, about a year and a half ago, maybe more, I saw this dress on the internet. I liked it very much, but I didn't know where I could wear it. And Inga suggested that we need to film a dress for me, and the dress should be fancy. So right away, the idea is here. Yes, we already had the idea. That's why we didn't have to make anything up. Very good. Let's take a look. Here, Natasha says that it's not really a net. Natasha, please tell us how this dress was made. What does it consist of? Originally, it was supposed to be net here, but I didn't find a dotted net that I liked. And this is a veiling, and it's quite soft, but not ticklish. Yes, it's soft. Sveta found the same veiling in the nearest store and told me about it. A very good choice, by the way. It's so elastic. It's so elastic. 
Yes, maybe it would have been easier to work with net when connecting it with crepe, but I like the way the veiling sleeves look, because if they were net, they would be hanging. We'd have to think what to use underneath so that they'd keep the shape. And it here was beautiful. You saw it when we showed the dress on Natasha. The sleeve turned out to be pretty indeed. Natasha, how's the bottom of the sleeve finished? It is finished with a net as all the seams. There is a stripe made of net. Like piping, right? Yes, piping with double net. Because it's very thin. For finishing, we used a different net, a thin one without dots. We decided to pipe with the same net. First we thought to use a velvet band, but then I thought it was too much. There's enough velvet here. It was a nice pattern of the sleeve. During drafting, Natasha showed how to get this shape of a sleeve. Those who didn't watch it, I'm repeating, make sure you watch it. With the 10 basic measurements, it fits perfectly, right? We changed the line slightly, but it's still, the shape fits perfectly. Natasha, tell us about these, cuttings and darts. Well, we drafted them here. The dress is not cut at the waistline, only this central part is. We have a video on that as well. You can watch it if you're interested. When we unfold this dress, I'll show you how the seams were finished. Because you asked how it would look. All the seams are finished on the right side and covered with a velvet band. That's why the inside is very clean. Let's look inside then. We'll turn it inside out now. Wow, it's so beautiful here. So, when the dress is turned inside out, we see the cuttings and the darts. We have a seam on the center front, also on the center back. And here you see the cutting of the waistline is only for the central part. Here's the seam. So inside there is nothing. Because all the cuttings and darts are stitched onto the right side. Yes, we sewed the dress the way we would sew a lace dress. We covered the crepe with net and sewed it as one fabric. At first I had no idea how to make the seams smooth, but the genius lies in the simplicity. I decided that we just need to bring them out to the right side and cover with bands, since we have bands as a decoration. It's very beautiful. Pay attention to how it's decorated here, the details that no one sees, but they're here, they always make us happy. Yes, first I simply piped using a thin black net, and then it seemed a bit boring. We always strive for more. We found a lace and off we went. The seam is sort of covered and it's nice, very beautiful. The same way on the hemline. We didn't want to use the overlock stitching since the seams were finished here already, so we decided to finish with net and do the piping and cover it with lace. So cute, just unbearably beautiful. The same way for the seam of the sleeve and the sleeve cutting. You see the seam? Is also brought up to the right side and is covered with a velvet band. That's why it seems that all is clear and the band is just stitched on top. Very smooth, very clean finishing. Good job. You can't tell there's a seam. And because the velvet bands are elastic, the sleeve isn't tight, it doesn't pull. So that's why it's very comfortable. All the seams are finished here with inserted seam. No, it's finished with a very thin net, a net. So no, not an inserted seam. No, because on the dots, I only stitched the sleeve with the inserted seam. And then I decided just to finish the rest. First of all, the net is elastic as well. You see, I couldn't apply interfacing on the shoulder. That's why using a monochrome net, which was used for finishing the whole dress, it was along the grain line, but not too much. And that's why, instead of a seam type, we stitched this net and finished with it. That's very smart. So the seam is sort of a bit elastic, but it doesn't really stretch as much as the net. 
Very smart. Embrace this idea. How nice it is that Natasha is here. She can tell us such nuances. Because I saw how this dress was sewn. But you see, the author of this dress must be present. So the neck is finished the same way, isn't it? The neck was just piped with the same net, which was monochrome, without dots. Then I folded and stitched. That's why it becomes so thin and delicate. Very pretty, Natasha. I'm very excited. Let's look at the side seams. The seams are piped with net. We have a zipper on the back and the darts and the zipper. Also, this upper part of the base is finished with lace. So pleasant, such a girly's thing. And the zipper. Since we were out of clear zippers in the atelier, we had to use a black one, and we used a regular zipper. And cut as much as we could. That's why the seam that we piped with net is so thin. In this case, it doesn't ruin the look, because here the velvet bands are not so thin. Yes, and it sort of matches. The width turned out to be the same as the bands. Very beautiful. The only thing is, it was difficult to attach the veiling during the finishing, because while the net is elastic, veiling sort of sticks out. That's why the dress is on its own. No, two dresses are. But it doesn't bother me. It's like a hazy dress. Yes, very pretty. Very delicate finishing. I'm so happy that we're looking at this dress with you, looking at it on the table and filming a review, because who can tell us about this dress if not the author? There were so many questions in the comments. Of course, we read all the comments, but we have no time to respond. And I thought that when we show the fitting, we'll show some knots along the way. But there were holidays, and there were other videos, so we decided to show you the entire finishing and tell you at the example of a finished dress. And it turns out that this crepe part is stitched with lace and secured with blind stitches. Initially, it was stitched thin. Piped? Right, like this with a curve. Piping on the inside. Yes, and I sewed the edge by hand, but then it was sort of boring and I found a lace. I like it so much. In this video, you learned how to finish the veiling of a garment with such an unusual method. Natasha, thank you so much for sharing these secrets. Let's look at the earrings. They're weightless. Put them on your hand. No, on your hand. Look at them. They're woven with threads and are decorated with seed beads and sparkles. Sveta knows this. As I said, we as creative people know how all this works and appreciate it. When I got these earrings, I was excited. Such a tedious work to make them. Like magic. Natasha, they're matching. So we thank all the talented craftsmen, everyone who does crafts. We appreciate such people. Great, yes. We're happy that we could show you this review today. Thank you for being with us today, Natasha. I'm sure that you learned something new today. Although this is not a tutorial, there are some moments here which could be interesting even for a professional. Subscribe to our channel, like and comment. All the best from Natalia, Irina, and the rest of our team. Goodbye. See you soon.